Okay, 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 okay. Now let's talk about Caitlin Clark and Chris Decides. But before we get started, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to the Gertie Mac Show, taking y'all time to subscribe to the channel, liking and sharing my videos. I really appreciate all that. Now let's go. Well, Indiana Fever pulled out the big win like poor port against Seattle Storm 92-75. to A 17-point lead. I think at one point they was up to 20. This right here definitely should get Indiana Fever to move up in the rankings because Seattle Storm was ranked number four. So this win right here was big. They had won two back to back. Now, um, we got to get off just talking about basketball. We got to talk about some other stuff that happened within the basketball. So Caitlin Clark, you know her passion. Her passion is like fruit when it comes to her basketball. She is um she loves the game of basketball so much that where other than outside of just when she, you know, passes and stuff like that, when she is not on her game, she often have frustrated moments where she lash out. Now, in this game right here, Kaylin Clark received her fifth technical foul, which is two away from being suspended for a game. Now, Chrissy Sides has talked about this where she says she's going to have some plan to try to help deal with this. But Caitlin Clark, in the post-game interview, revealed the reason why she got the technical foul. And it's for this right here when she was um not really, you know, making any threes. And she had hit the pattern around the goal. But she had said something. I guess the ref didn't like it or whatever. But the thing about it is... What the referee said to her is kind of crazy. Y'all check this out. Yeah, Kate, uh, Caitlin, the, um, obviously you were fiery, the blood going yeah. on. Can you describe what's going on in your it's brain crazy. at that moment? And, too much. <laughs> but also, I think people love that about you, yeah. as long as like you don't either break your hand yeah. or get uh, you know, another technical. Can, yeah. can I describe what you're thinking and going through there? Thanks. Well, I, I got a technical for basically being mad at myself because I missed the three and then I went and hit the backboard. And he told me it was disrespectful to the game of basketball. So, I don't know. It reminded me of the technical that I got in college where I said, damn it, where it's like a personal frustration. Had nothing to do with my team. Had nothing to do with their refing. refing had nothing to do with other team. It was just because I'm a competitor. And I felt like I should have been making more shots. So, um, But I think he fired me up to continue to play a lot harder. I thought we got a lot better after he did that. So, I want to thank him uh, for that. Um, but overall, I thought once we got to that media timeout around five minutes in the third quarter, I thought we all kind of just took a breath. It was a little chaos there for two and a half minutes, and I think I could have done a better job of kind of regaining my cool, but um, that's like the fire and passion that just gets me going. It's just finding a way to channel that and use that, and I thought I did a really good job of that at the end of the third and the fourth quarter. Now, I think that's crazy. You heard Caden Clark say, the ref told her that she is disrespecting basketball. By doing what? I mean, come on now. Like, let's not be petty. Indiana Fever needs to look into this because this right here should be overturned. If a referee telling you something like that, like you're disrespecting basketball, you are a referee. You blow that whistle when you need to blow that whistle, but you don't just blow that whistle for your own vendetta because I feel like that's personal. But now, Chris decides had her own issue going on as she got into a confrontation with Seattle Storm coach Noel Quinn toward the end of the game, all because Chris decides didn't pull out her starters because they were beating them so bad that Noel Quinn pulled out her starters and Chris decides didn't. So she got all up in her face and all that kind of stuff blowing in her face like a birthday candle. You need to get back. You'll look too close. Now, the thing about it is, no Indiana Fever players came over there to Chris decides, you know, side when. They was all in their face. You can see some Seattle Storm players over there. Y'all need to get over there with your coach. I ain't saying you guys going to do nothing crazy, but get over there with your coach. But Chris Sides did speak on Kaitlyn Clark, you know, her frustration issues that she has during the game that she lasts out because this is her fifth technical foul, people. So that means two more, she will be suspended. And you don't know when that may happen. And with this run to the playoff, they don't need Caden Clark to be out. No game at all. So Chris decides, revealed in the post-game interview, that she's going to have a sit-down with Caden Clark. She ain't trying to change her, 
but you're going to have to address this. So, Christy, you've got Caitlin out there doing Caitlin things, but also getting upset and hitting the stanchion or whatever. And what are you thinking there? You want to, obviously, I'm guessing, keep her, let her be her, but you also don't want to lose her or have her right. get injured or whatever. What are you, what's that balance as you're trying to figure out, you know, how to coach her and, and advise her while all these things are happening? Yeah. So I, I wanted our coaches to find um, what exactly happened. I didn't see what she did to get that. Um, she was frustrated and she went, the, you know, she hit the pad on the rim. I mean, she's done that several times and we've never, I don't think she's been teed up for that. So, you know, I'm not like that. That's the way she gets her frustration out. I have absolutely no problem with that. It didn't affect anybody. It wasn't towards anything. So we just have to be consistent on that call. I mean, that, that hadn't been a technical on her before. Um, so we just need to, I'm going to, you know, figure out how to talk to her after I talk to um, Sue and see what we need to, how we need to move forward. And I know you said um, with Caitlin, you want to let her be herself, but five technicals on the season, seven, you got to sit down. So do you have those conversations with her? And I guess, how do you toe that line between letting her be herself and knowing you need her obviously down the stretch? Yeah, no, we're going to have a conversation. She's, <laughs> she's, I don't need Caitlin to have to sit out a game. So yes, that, that is, that is definitely going to be a conversation. She's just a fiery competitor. I mean, I don't want to take that away from her. That's what that's what that's the difference in who she is. Um, but I'm really proud. You know, earlier in the game, she had three turnovers in that first half. I think we finished the game the last 25 minutes with only five turnovers. Like we had 22 turnovers against them last time. So for us to finish the game with 20 in 25 minutes with just five solid performance on that on that end of the floor for us. Last two in the room on the right. From an overall team perspective, is this the best four quarters you put together defensively? You know, that is what we keep focusing on. That's, that's the end of the floor that's going to win games for us. And we put a lot of work in um, during, this, during this break. And that's where we've got to, we've got to keep getting better. Um, just we're able to change things up. Our schemes are actually we're at, being able to do different things that we weren't able to do before because of the practice that we got. So um, you hear Kristen say She says she wants Caitlin Clark to be Caitlin Clark, but you've got to have a talk with Caitlin Clark about these technical fouls. And I get it. You know, you want her to go out there and play with the passion that she has because that's what drives Caitlin Clark to get better and perform on the court. But Chris Siles also is a coach. So she's going to have to make sure she keep in mind that, hey, you got two technicals. But she also talked about, you know, they need to kind of look into this. And that's something that you really need to take serious, Chris Siles. You really need to do anything in your powers that you can do to really get the WNBA to look into that technical foul because if they have not been calling that technical foul on a consistent basis, then that's something that needs to be addressed because you can't be picking and choosing. You got to stay within the guidelines. If Caitlin Clark hitting the padding just for being upset of herself and ain't nobody else been calling it, then why are you blowing your whistle? Because you don't need to be doing it just because you probably, you know, just want to do it. Like Caden Clark said, that referee said that you are disrespecting basketball. Now, I don't see how being upset and pumping yourself up, motivating yourself, everybody do it like, come on now. God, dog, I know I can do it. How is that a technical? How is that being disrespectful? So, Chris decides really need, they got what, four or five days off for the next game? She needs to really take this time. To really get the WNBA involved into that ref, look at that play, have a sit down with what was said. Because if that's what was said, you being disrespectful, you ain't touched nobody, you ain't did nothing. Nah, nah, that's that's wrong. That technical foul needs to be reversed. And something needs to be done with that referee. That referee may not need to be calling games for Indiana Fever. But y'all get in the comments tell what y'all think. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like and share this video. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another video. Also, follow my social media at GertieMac15. Holla.